Hey everyone, Stephanie from Scrap and Crate. We're working on page one of Rose Perfume, which is a Stamperia collection. And of course, we're gonna start with our eight by eight base pocket page. And if you're unfamiliar with this build process, go to the second video in the series or in the playlist and there'll be build instructions for the base. And then for each individual page, you can look for the cut list that includes the flips, flaps, and any interactive elements that are added to the base page. Okay, we are going to add a lower pocket, and this pocket is nine, let me verify it, by four, nine by four. You're going to score a half inch on three sides, miter your corners, fold on your score lines, and we're going to have a pocket here in just a second. This is just going flush with the bottom of the page, like so. Then on top, we're going to have a flap, and this flap, let me double check, I'm gonna dry fit it real quick. Perfect, this flap is four and seven eighths, four and seven eighths by eight. And there's gonna be a slight gap between the pocket and the flap, and we're gonna put some inserts to hold the flap in place. And you'll see in just a minute. There we go. So there's a slight gap between the two. I chose this paper, which is from the 8x8 collection pack, and I've inked it with mahogany. I'm just going to put this in the pocket so I can see the edge. There we go. And then this is going to go on top. Now I need to trim this to fit. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think what I want to do is, which is going to be kind of unusual, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm thinking about trimming it right here and then taking the thin strip that I trim out and placing it here at the beginning of the pocket. Let's try it. And that way when it's all closed, it'll look like that because you'll see the roses in between or a little tiny piece of it anyway. Let's give it a shot, see what it looks like. Now I'm scaring myself. <laughs> Hold on. You know what? I'd, uh, huh. No, I think I'm going to trim it off the top. I'm a chicken. And I'll put some contrast strip in between. Ooh, that's really crooked. Hang on. For some reason, the paper is a little bit crooked. So I'm finding out where, where it's off. It's making me nervous. Maybe I'm just pushing it too hard. It's off like an eighth of an inch. Well, I'm gonna trim it and then we may have to trim it one more time. It's, I just, one of the, you know, you can see this is hanging off the edge and this is inside the edge. Uh, it's probably closer to a sixteenth of an inch that it's off. Yeah. So I'm gonna line it up straight on the panel and then we're going to mark both sides because it looks like I'm going to have to cut it at a slight angle. Sometimes the paper 
from the manufacturer just isn't square when you get it. Okay, that should do it. Mm. Yeah, looks good. I I need to do some inking. Okay, there we go. So this is an insert for it, and it is seven by seven, and this is from the background pack of the eight by eight. So that's gonna go in here. It's a nice big insert. And then I've got these smaller inserts that are gonna hold the flap closed. So this is a card. This is cut apart from the collection pack. And I just used one for the cover and one for the inside. And you have six of these cards. So if you use one for the outside and one for the inside, oops, that should have been the other side so it would have more journaling space. Oh, it is, sorry, it goes this way. <laughs> so this is the cover, there's your journaling spot, and then you've got a pretty cover and then a uh, space for journaling on the inside. So there's six of those cut aparts. It makes three of your bifolds. And um, the bifold is um, based on this card size. And so it is, in this case, 11 and 3 eighths, 11 and 3 eighths by three and three quarters, and then it's scored in half. Now I actually use two pieces of paper to attach it because I didn't use a 12 by 12. Um, if you have 12 by 12, the measurements I gave you will work perfectly fine. Otherwise, you uh, need to join two pieces so that it is 11 and 3 eighths by three and three quarters. Okay, so that's that, and that's our insert, and this is probably the one that's gonna go yeah, I think I like the yellow with this the best. So I'm going to set these aside, and we need to choose our inside liners. But I do want to keep in mind that I'd like to make sure that it looks pretty with this paper. So I'll be right back. I'm going to pick some paper. Be right back. Okay, I found these papers, and this is from the scrapbook pack, the 12 by 12 scrapbook pack. And th these are the outside edges, and so I just took a strip away from the middle so that we had to have these nice little borders. And now when I close this page, we're gonna have this nice solid strip between the bottom and um, the top flap. And you'll see that all come together in just a moment. I hope everybody's doing good. Are y'all ready for Christmas? Uh, my sister and I did um, a little pop-up shop in UTC um, area of San Diego last weekend and that turned out really great it seemed it was a scrapbook event that we had a pop-up shop for and it seemed like everybody was really in getting their um, you know holiday mood on it was so much fun and it's always lovely to be in a room full of crafters get new ideas um, it's just good to, to be around like-minded folks. So that was a very good experience. Um, the company that puts on the, one of the uh, retreats here in Southern California, San Diego is Scrap and Escapes. And they always do a wonderful job. Um, I think I've been to four of theirs and I just have a, a great time every time. So if you haven't heard of them, look at them, look them up, Scrap and Escapes, and maybe you too can participate in one of their um, scrapping retreats. They're usually Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And a lot of them are in San Diego, but they also do Dana Point and a couple other locations. So 
Anyway, I want to give them a shout out. Had a great time last weekend. And there we go. That looks nice, and there's plenty of room for photos uh, here and here. And then, of course, we have this large insert with some photo space on the back. I want to show you what this is going to look like closed, so you see that little red band there. I like it. And then this will go inside, so for the most part, you're going to see... Um, whatever the fa uh, fabric, whatever the paper is on your insert, you're going to close it and then we're going to use one of these uh, cards, these bifold cards that I made. That's the outside. So my fingers are fumbling. The inside, whenever it's cold, my arthritis kicks up into high gear. And my brain and hands get out of sync. That's it. So that's page one. It's a very simple page. And I'm not going to put too much bulk on the pages because there are six pages. Um, so, you know, that's going to give us a lot of extra photo space without having to do tons of flips and flaps. So I love it. I love this image. I, I went back and forth about whether or not this should be the cover, but I chose something a little more subtle. So that's it for page one. I'll be back soon with another page.